This is part of a set of short videos on getting the best from SciXOS software. In this video, we are going to explore the automatic method building function that can create one method for samples with different MRM transitions. This function is available in MultiQuant and it can be performed in SciXOS too. There are differences between automatic method processing in MultiQuant and in SciXOS. However, they both have the primary function of creating one method from samples that have different MRM transitions. In MultiQuant, this function is only present in the standard MultiQuant version and not in the CFR version, but in SciXOS, this is present in both versions. Also, both MQ4 and AutoP integration algorithms are supported in SciXOS and you can easily add internal standards. Also, the way to process the data is a bit different in SciXOS, so let's see how it's done. We start as normal and select the samples that you want to process. In this case, we have three groups of data that have been processed in Discovery Quant and contain different analytes. After selecting your samples, go straight to the process button. And then the familiar processing method pane will appear. So now you can look at your components and you can add a group if you require. I'm going to add an internal standard and use this for all my analytes. Then we can go to the integration tab and integrate our samples and view our integrated peaks. Also at this stage you can add calculated columns or flagging rules if you require. So now you go to process and the results page will appear. You can see here that F of Irons is only in group 1 data and Cozapin is only in group two data, but both are included in the one method. So in conclusion, automatic method building helps to speed up data processing when samples have different MRM transitions. Thank you for listening.